trunks in the garage. All right, shout out. Last month and forever. One nine nine. One ninety nine. Here, 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 there, there. We like to give a shout out, special praise while we have respect and chop. Rastafari number one ska band the land. The money, money, boss tones. Thank you for everything. The memories, the life. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so glad I got to see that band. I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's one band. It's me. I'm ready to go. I don't know what's going on. Start playing or something. Yeah, baby. I don't know. You want to sound check it? She wants to get out of the I think it's pretty loud. What do you think, people? That's right. Boo Puppy is really sad that the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones have broken up, but so am I. But we were really lucky to see them a few years back at the Punk Rock Music Festival. Give me the first shout out of the afternoon. Welcome, people. It is Scarlet Puppy here from Lost Puppy Forever. If you are tuning in off of Instagram or Twitter or wherever the social media internet universe has taken you and brought you here to the party at 420, well, welcome to the party. We have a really great show for you today. Like Boom Puppy said, it is our 199th episode ever. And we are really, really excited to bring this to you at a very special party time at 420. We got a great show for you. We got, we're going to have some pop chat on the pop chatting, and you guys are going to love the topic. Litter boxes and public school toilets. That's right. And we have some noise pop event information coming your way. We got some shout outs coming your way. We got some live tunes coming your way from Lost Puppy Forever because we don't disappoint. We talk about the real deal, the viral extreme that you guys are coming here for your pleasure to know. And that's right, we're really super stoked that you guys are here. Um, Boom Puppy is really excited because he's going to be showing you a new puppy outfit. I think he's going to have some going on. And we are getting all kinds of calls from people because they want to know what are we doing. We are on the air live. That is what we're doing. And yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Spam, spam callers. I dare them to call back because then we can go ahead and uh, garbage pail kick them. All right. So basically, today's pop chat is coming up right now, really soon. As soon as the puppy comes back into the doghouse, he wants to go bring you guys something. Just like crows bring people gifts, it'll be totally awesome. So yes, stay tuned. If you have not partaken in what you're supposed to partake at this time, please do so because we are really excited. Our gummy action satisfaction has kicked in and we are super, super stoked for that. But yes, enjoy the beat for just one second while we do generate some last minute exciting stuff for you. Oh, <laughs> 
around because this is totally hilarious. And then we'll come back. The agenda that is being pushed through our schools is um, just my opinion, but somewhat nefarious when it comes to some of the um, activities. So let's talk about fury, furries. <laughs> it was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that, are, that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a, in one of the unisex bathrooms, a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And um, I am really disturbed by that. And I, I will do some more investigation on that. I know it's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't, I don't even want to understand it. But I think that people need to be aware of it because I am really upset as a parent that my child is put in an environment like that. And um, you know, I'm all for creativity and imagination, but when someone lives in a fantasy world and expects other people to go along with it, I have a problem yeah. with that. So I'm just putting that out there. I will invest. She has a problem with it. The agenda is I, I have myself for Carol White right there live on you. Is, um, Internet baby holding that phone device in your hand, killing from the public somewhat bus. Somewhat nefarious when public it comes toilet, to baby. some of the um, boxes. activities. So let's talk That's about fury. USA, fury. USA. It was addressed by a child. Uh, a couple months ago, that they are put in an environment where there are kids that are that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a, in one of the unisex bathrooms, a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And um, I am really disturbed by that. And I, I will do some more investigation on that. I know it's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't, I don't even want to understand it. But I think that people need to be aware of it because I am really upset as a parent that my child is put in an environment like that. And um, you know, I'm all for creativity and imagination, but when someone lives in a fantasy world and expects other people to go along with it, I have a problem with that. So I'm just putting that out there. I will investigate more. The agenda that is being pushed through our school. Hey, I had myself we a kind of had a little, I, I was trying to get. YouTube, what's up? This YouTube? is all DIY. Facebook Live. I just want to make sure live. you guys heard all that. Twitch Live. She you know just am? outed herself. So this lady is I a nut. Myself. Wait, it's been the part. She I went myself. to a camera. school you board it, meeting. If you missed it, quit it. I outed myself. Outed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to burn. I just outed myself. I'm not going to take the help. We wanted to make sure you heard it. It's so hot in here. You know how it is. Maybe I'm from NASA. I got the NASA anyway, chip on my tongue. But anyway, I outed myself. That's the pub chat I topic myself. for today. I slipped up. I hope you watch it. That's the bonus. We want to talk about what she just said. So here's a recap on what literally Woo. happened, okay? So it started off as a comment at a school board meeting in Midland, Michigan, okay? Which was later amplified, because it made it all the way to the Midland State uh, Republican leader, and basically, um, and culminated with a superintendent explaining that the superintendent of the entire public school system had to say that there were no litter boxes on school grounds for students to use if they identified as furries, especially cat furries, okay? So basically, quote unquote, it is unconscionable that this afternoon I'm sending this communication, this is from the desk of the superintendent of Midland Public Schools, Michael Sharo, wrote on Thursday to all the parents He's like, however, our Midland Public School stakeholders may be confused about a false message and accusation that has resurfaced this week from this lady. So where is she getting all this rumor stuff? I mean, aren't aren't like you know people that have like little kids and teenagers I'm not it's not, encouraging not to spread rumors? Oh my gosh, dude! Seriously, you're an adult, and then like being an example. Okay, let's just move on to that. The rumor is a rumor that furries, basically, there's furries in this in this district, and we don't know if this is, um, I don't know if this is a, a middle school or a high school, so I'm not really sure about what age these kids are. But, uh, but uh, I want to say maybe they're all together. Maybe, maybe if they, like, 
um, get housed in one building, like 7th, 8th grade, 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, or whatever. Maybe even just one giant school, okay? I just have to say, if Midland, Michigan has a giant furry community, then I should put Midland, Michigan, which is literally 100 miles outside of Detroit, as a cool school. Because that means they're creative, people that live there, they can sew, they have a good time because they like to party. ICP! And, you know, why not? This is, this is like a new day and age. And it's like, people shouldn't be freaked out about creativity. So this lady, obviously, is is like kind of like the big, um, you know, wah, wah, wah on Charlie Brown. And like, you know, she's just bringing the party down. Don't invite this lady to any parties, people. All right, so basically, moving on. Uh, the Basically, the rumor that furries... Like, once again, people that have interest in anthropomorphic animal characters and sometimes dress up as them, wah, 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 use litter boxes in the school district, and which is about two hours, okay, it's two hours northwest of Detroit, okay? If you want to go to Midland and you're in Detroit or you're around the area, it's just two hours. You can go visit and ask the school board next time. What have they done with the litter boxes? Appears to have started a huge situation. And people, people of Facebook Live, this has taken a viral sensation. Okay, when I talk about viral, these are the videos that keep on giving. Giving to the people of the internet. People bringing their stories to tell. And I'm just going to have to say that, yeah, you know, Lost Puppy Forever, we're our own thing, but we are super, super furry friendly, and we totally dig that there are creative kids at the school. Now, we don't know wh what rumors this woman is picking up on, because obviously she didn't confirm it before. Maybe she had like too many whatever she's eating or popping pills these days. But she needs she needs to like she needs to do her research before she goes on a mic but that's what we do and i'm reading actually my stuff from the new york times so anyways if that's what you want to read you can read it yourself but without me reading it for you but anyways moving on so a member heard, of the wait, public I heard, I heard, who heard, spoke yeah. at the meeting there's a lady her yeah, name another lady says in the video that she says in the video she was informed by somebody that she was informed by someone the day before the meeting that litter boxes had added to the unisex bathrooms for students who identify as cats. So basically, there was another woman that told this woman possibly. Now, it sounds to me that these two women that are participating in this meeting have an issue beyond the furry thing. I think they have an issue with the unisex bathroom. Um, we can definitely, that comes off right away from the article. Um, she says, this lady that told the other lady, she says, I was stunned, Ms. Hansen says in the video. As of today, I'm equally stunned and a bit upset. Well, not a little bit, but a lot. I'm furious. I wouldn't even use that word. Ms. Hansen says the video, in the video that there's an agenda <laughs> behind that is being pushed through the school and in her opinion but someone somewhat nefarious when it comes to the activities she goes on to say that this is a nationwide oh the lady in the video is miss hansen i'm so sorry i thought there was all the two ladies gosh could you imagine if it was two ladies doing this and they look exactly alike like twins now we're getting deep okay <laughs> so anyway um she goes on to say that this is a nationwide issue. Okay, why are you using heated words like issue, Ms. Hansen? And if you're a Ms, like an MS period, that means you possibly are by yourself? Or I don't know. I don't know what you're going on with yourself. But anyway, um, so do you even have kids? But anyways, I'm all, she says, I'm all for creativity and imagination. But when it comes to someone living in a fantasy world that expects people to go along with it, I have a problem with that. Uh, there's a lot of people living in a fantasy world and being very successful at it, Ms. Hansen. And you know what? 
it's all good in the hood. If you know who you are, where you're from, you like what you're doing, you're having a blast, don't let the Ms. Hansons of the world bring you down. Karen White! All right, and so basically in an email on Sunday night, Ms. Hansen, oh here, she's describing herself. I read that she in your post. She describes herself as a concerned mom, so she actually has kids. Um, trying to protect my child. Girl, all I am saying is you just totally damaged your child's entire reputation at school. I feel bad for your child, first of all, because they're gonna be getting some in-school whispers or laugh ats or whatever you call like i mean i don't know maybe you're homeschooling i don't really know what you're doing but guess what i'm so sorry to say that your child is probably going to be a you're probably i mean i'm sure your child is already a, a furry high school, baby. I, I, I'm, I'm almost I positive am. i'm almost positive and um and, and <laughs> i'm just saying that's very punk rock of your child. Um, yeah. So she says, we parents aren't sure what our schools are up to. She says, that's a problem. Accountability is not a crime. Okay, why is she still using these these like words that like people just throw out casually? First, you know, accountability is not a crime. When you say that, I mean, why are you bringing the word crime into the situation? There's no crime that's been committed. And then you're totally, I don't know, using weird words to describe a situation. Okay, first of all, she should be a positive parent and not use these negatively charged words at the meeting. And then she's there, she's, she's heard a rumor, it's, and it was not even confirmed. She could have called up the office of the school and been like, hey, dude, my child goes there. Can you just check the bathroom to make sure there's, there's no litter boxes in the unisex bathroom? Um, apparently, I'm almost positive, once again, that Ms. Hansen is just not a fan of the unisex bathroom. All right, so I'm going on in the article. She says, kids who identify as furries get a litter box at the school bathroom. She says, um, Ms. Maddox, some, uh, somebody <laughs> else, wrote on Facebook a post sharing the video of the board meeting, she says, parent heroes, okay, this is where they try to, you know, insert their positive, weird, you know, tonality. Parent heroes will take back our schools. Uh, you know what? They're, it's great that you are in touch with your school and you're a parent and you're totally participating in going to school board meetings, but there's nothing wrong that happens. It's, it's called, you know what, this happened back in the day and it was uh, a huge thing in the music movement when a whole bunch of rock and rollers had to go to the Supreme Court and basically battle the situation of censorship. Okay, this is basically on a small micro level, this school's version of that situation. Do we need to get the lead singer of Twisted Sister to show up to the Midland Mitchell. Frank Zappa, come back. Yeah, we just need, oh yeah, Frank Zappa. I mean, challenging Tipper Gore. If you guys don't know anything about that, I suggest you go back into the digital archives. Go watch the whole thing over again because there's nothing bad that's actually even happened. You know, they're kind of being, putting like a, you know, a weird scarlet letter on of F on these kids who want to be creative and it is okay to be an F creative children out there. It is okay because, life. you know, you're creative and you're going to do very, very well. I just don't let these adults bring you down because it sounds to me that, you know, they have other things going on in the background. So I'm just gonna move on. It's hot in here, people. This is for <laughs> According, real. Don't put it down. Let okay. the kids have litter boxes yeah. in the public toilets. You guys say taxpayers to be, pay. Maybe you pay, it was you an vote, art you pay. installation <laughs> in the bathroom. This could be like, you know, one of those creative art art experiments at schools where it's like um, performance litter boxes, art. USA. Maybe it's litter box USA. Free performance litter box art art performances. It's called performance art. People do it all the time and some of the stuff doesn't even make sense. Okay, so anyways, um, she basically, Ms. Shero, whoever that is, um, said she didn't immediately respond to the request for comment on Saturday. 
the Michigan Pub Republican Party is now been requested for a comment. And they did not respond to the request on Saturday. Um, and then according, this is the next part of the article, according to First Science, a website run by a multi-disciplinary team, blah, 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 of scientists. Okay, first of all, this is crazy to me that there's a multi-disciplinary team of scientists that get paid magenzas, okay? Studying furry fandom. Okay, I wanna be one. Can I be one? Can somebody get me the G-A-O-B? Cause I wanna be a furry scientist, okay? Last time for life! <laughs> and they basically, this comes from the scientists. Furry describes a diverse community of fans, artists, writers, gamers, and role players. Okay, most furries create for themselves an anthropomorphized, like we showed you what the word was. That's the word. All right, most furries create for themselves a character or persona, persona, I like how that comes off, persona. with whom they identify and can function as an avatar in the community, says the website. Which basically is like, dude, if you have an emoji of yourself on Facebook, which is now meta, you're already doing that for yourself, but you're just in meta a for weird life. human emoji form. So whatever, Willis. Okay, dodgy coin, so dodgy in coin. the mass media, furries are usually associated with sexual fetishes. The website says, the most cited draw to first. Oh my gosh, we're getting another call from a spam. So we're gonna do. Hello, the call. We're gonna online. we're gonna just we're Good gonna line. make fun of these people. Chandler. Hola. Chandler. Hola. Chandler. Chandler. Who is that? Okay, they hung up. Okay, I didn't know what that was, but we will figure that out later. They didn't want to talk to us. Okay, I wonder why. Okay, anyway, so in the mass media, like I said, furries are associated with sexual fetishes. The website says the most cited is the furry fandom is a sense of belongingness. Belongingness. Everybody loves each other. Recreation and the escape of mundane, of daily living or daily life. Okay, that's great. That's awesome possum sauce, okay? And this other, other person chimed in from the New York Times, an associate professor of social developmental studies at the University of Waterloo in Canada and a founder of First Science, okay. Her name is Sharon E. Roberts. Okay, first of all, girl, how'd you get this job? She's calling herself the Associate Professor of Social Development Studies at the University of Waterloo in Canada and the founder of First Science. Can we not just... Okay, we're getting blown up from the 562 area code and that's completely ridic, so we're not answering that closely anymore. So Rhythm Nation! So Stay the world, track two! So basically, this lady has a cool job. She's the founder of First Science. I mean, like, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely jelly a little bit about that. I, I would love to be, I would love to have a job like that. I'm director of First Science. Anyways, all right, so um, she says, it is a source of disappointment that I felt this necess necessity to communicate this message to you. So anyways, that's the superintendent says. Oh, but going back to the lady that's the first science lady, she says she, ad she adds though, there's an evidence of significant misrepresentation and misunderstanding of the furry fandom leading to claims like this and worse. Okay, so basically- I'm out of myself, live in front of you. <laughs> so they're misunderstood. The whole fandom is misunderstood. And this lady, Ms. Hansen, is just promoting 
the misunderstanding of something she actually says she does not understand or she does not want to understand. I don't understand and, anything. And, and I'm like, girl, you went viral. You went viral over the internet. People be talking about this. Okay, so anyways, we're talking about it. So I'm going to go back to the chat. I got, I got some people. I got, got some people, people in the chat. Okay, right, let's see what you one. guys. Everybody, hello. Well, let's just <laughs> Max Fox is in the room. Congratulations on the next book. Thank you so much. Max, we're gonna be talking about that in a minute. Tell Ice Cube, he said he'll tell Ice Cube you said hi, boom puppy. All right. And All right. Dockin is playing Saturday too. Oh my gosh, Dockin is playing on Saturday. Uh, we need to know where. Okay. The next one is Heather Moore. She says, yes, John Denver and D. Schneider teamed up in court for the censorship. I remember that. That was a really big, big court case about censorship. And now that we're in the year of 2022, uh, we've morphed into the future. We're still dealing with the censoring people. So like, it's basically, they didn't get it like 20, 30 years ago when they were young. Dudes, what happened? Did you not party enough? Did you not oh, get your fill oh, of enjoyment so that you could share it into the future? Okay. I feel bad for Ms. Hansen. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. You put Ms. Hansen on, on some type of all, all expenditure, whatever, vacation with her girls, and you get them all partied out, and they're gonna be, girl, I had such a good time. Uh, uh, uh. And then they're gonna be a lot more mellower. Um, maybe that's what needs to happen. <laughs> a girls weekend out in Cabo or something. Uh, maybe you can go with Ted Cruz and his family. Okay, but anyways. <laughs> I want to shout out to all the people in the room right now. Thank you so much for having pop chat with us. Now, what, what this is for, a special pop chat. This, this is a very special, this is a noise pop pop we got, chat. We got noise pop chat. This is, we're going to, we're going to pop chat noise pop in a we minute. Like we like to thank, let's cut through it right now. We're just going to take a little break here and topic. I like to give a big shot first and foremost to number one, Aw, oh, happy hour, showcase, location of free, 21 and overall week, free, 5 p.m. door, 8 p.m. band, something like that jam, rock and roll, free music. And they are open during the big game this weekend. So you can go there and just make the party there. You can go watch your local home team or whatever you want to do. That's right. And, you know, have some drinks, have some food. We got the Overkill Grill in the house. Overkill Grill in the house. Uh, if you don't know the Overkill Grill, please go check out their Instagram. I saw it today and they, no, they posted like tortellini on there. Tell me no, like, Johnny. Fried tortellini. Tell me no, Will. Tell and me no, Kevin. some Will. crazy, crazy dipping sauce. So I don't know. They're always they're Tell always no. being super creative over there. Scarlet puppy. Yes. Number one, number one, Mike Chat. Mike Chat. Like, okay, I'm having I'm I'm, I'm yes, powering week, down because we uh, have uh, been for twentying and gummying uh, yeah. for your entertainment pleasure it's because Friday. it's very relaxing for us too because we're dogs and we love it. And, the and woo, Boom is playing REM right now in his head. And um yeah. <laughs> and I got like, something to say. It's the misfits. Come on now. Okay, okay. Hey, I, I'm next new wave. I'm playing a hot ball. Okay, we we we've been, been mixing it up. We've been mixing it up. Today we mixed it up with some Janet Jackson, but you know what? Benders also has an awesome jute box. And you can just put all your money in the jute box and it will just play whatever you push the button to, which is super, super amazing. So definitely, that's the address, 806 South Venice Avenue in San Francisco, California, in the Mission District. Yeah, tell everybody we said hi. And we are going to be playing there for Noise Pop the weekend of the 26th of February. So let me show you that flyer right now. So this is the, this is, okay, if you guys don't know, Noise Pop is the week of February 21st to the 27th in San Francisco, California. And we have the schedule for Benders. So these are all the happy hours starting on the 22nd 
and we are super, super stoked to be playing with some awesome bands that are gonna be there all week long during the happy hour. But if you scroll down to the so bottom many. Oh, of the page, we're gonna all. be playing the Benders happy hour on the 26th. We're gonna be pumping it up and tenderizing. As it is cursed! Tenderizing the show for you. Uh, opening it up, warming it up. I am going to bring some special merch that you might want to get. I'm gonna. I'm still kind of deciding what I want to bring. Lost puppy forever. We got our T-shirts, we got our record and stickers, and then I'm gonna bring shut something up. special shut up, shut for up, our lady. Instagram Ready. familia. So show up, I will give it to you. Yeah, shut up, All lady. you gotta Ready. do is show me you're on our Instagram. I'm making a special, special something special for you guys. Yeah, All yeah. right, well, and then actually, the middle actually, band is Storm. Stormfucker is Storm playing fucker. the middle slot. Specialer. <laughs> Let's get specialer. And the most special, special spot goes to Hazard's Cure. Hazard Cure! We are really, really excited. Because all these buttons are going to melt your face off. Yeah, metal! Are you ready to get melted? Face melted. I'm melting. I'm melting. Yeah, metal. And, and you shouldn't Listen. throw water on Listen. fire. You should always throw salt. <laughs> Or if you want to tip us right now and throw us a dollar ninety nine, that'd be great uh, too. Because it's one dollar. Oh yeah, no, tip okay. the bartenders yeah, two dollars yeah. for us. If, if you drink, Go okay. buy a beer Venice and give be them two dollars. This is gonna have three or four people behind the bar. Number all They're week. gonna so, be this is providing you drinking drinking things, and they're gonna uh, tell you next, up. and then you come back get yeah. another one, and next. Yeah. Come back, get another one, yeah. and next it'll be completely crazy. Yeah, it's one okay. of the best drinking you can do since the <laughs> Trump gimmick. Anyway, be All safe, right. still be safe. We're gonna show you some ass. I think it's time. Going, no, I'm, going I'm going back. I'm going back to our live. litter box. Yeah, no, but wait, wait, wait. Before you go live, I just want to say uh, we're gonna have a. We're gonna give a shout out to Spanky up in Washington. We're giving a toss out a mask. We still wear a mask. When we play at Bender's Noise Pop, we're going to wear masks, as you can see. I hope you wear a mask. We're going to bring fashion Yeah, we're stop this Trump disease. Shouts out to Lance Moore from San Francisco. He just did a music video with Grimes, which you guys should go check out. He is the latest mask designer for like fashion, like avant-garde stuff, and he's from San Francisco. Go give your local boy some action and go check out his yeah, Instagram page. Guys. And Grimes, you dude, you totally rocked it. Your outfit is very cosplay. We love everything about the new video and your mask is fierce. Okay, so anyways, nice I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell vendors. you guys, we're back in the litter box. I'm gonna finish this because I need to talk about this some more. I'm not done talking about, we'll talk about it all week. this. Okay, so anyways, I just wanna say, just to wrap up, us being in the litter box that you know what if this goes to all subcultures you know when people don't understand you they start talking a whole bunch of BS and you know it does it does cause some tension and weirdness and makes the other person feel super super weird and that's just the form of bullying at the end of the day on Un uneducated things about topics that they don't really know about so you know at the end of the day you know I just want to tell these kids over there watching our podcast and all of the viral video comments that are coming from this lady it just shows that Everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame on TikTok or the internet and some of them really don't know what they're talking about and sometimes they do know what they're talking about but I just want to say it's up to you guys to make your own decisions and how you feel about stuff because at the end of the day it's how it makes you feel. If it makes you feel good and positive and healthy and promotes your own creative side that's awesome because we need more art in this world we do not need any weird negative stuff blowing stuff up because the earth is already crumbling okay so anyways we're gonna play some tunes for you right now are you ready are you ready to be taken to the next level which is space dun, 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 dun. that's our record by the way the record boom puppy show them our this is our, our record it's called year of the dog you can buy this at Benders. We're gonna bring a whole bunch. Yeah, five bucks. Special noise pop happy. We're we'll talking about noise pop. Kids, hang in there. We're gonna do the switch over. Five dollars special. Over. Okay, let's play.
play some music. I got music. I got Because this is the second p- part of the podcast. Okay, well, I, we played this all day. Too. I want to give a shout out to Janet. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Thank you. San Francisco Public we Life. We're going to review this soon coming up. We got some movie uh, record reviews really coming good. up. It's been remastered. We got a bunch of stuff on YouTube coming and up now. You can see. Go post up. and check it out. I'm out of my stuff with Janet. But there I am. There we I am. have yeah. a movie, too. We got stuff on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Check out our new stuff. We'd like a shout out to Mr. Beast. Real fast. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but we're going to be reviewing that movie. You too. You'll be there too. Join the like and subscribe. We're going to Janet Jackson. I'm out of myself, baby. Oh, Tom Scott's on. Woo, Tom Scott. Shout out to Tom Scott. Uh, this guy's going to be doing the back line for uh, Noise Pop Festival right there. It's your back Litter line. Box, C.D. Davis. Chat meets R.C. Box Davis. R.C. Davis. C.D. That's Davis. That's right. R.C. Davis. Back line number one. San chat Francisco. Right now. Check this guy out. He's got a shop. No clumping. And that's right, we're not clumping anymore. So we're gonna play some music right now. Then we're gonna give some shout outs. But I just wanna tell you guys, you guys have been super awesome for being here for our 199th podcast. And I and I, I know for us, you guys are so down because you totally get us. And we cannot wait to see you guys because we're coming out of the doghouse right for noise pop and we're gonna totally cause lots of trouble okay all right come on in <laughs> there we go there we go right there <laughs> there we go get a stick i got it there we go i'm just jamming the baby whoop, whoop. i'm having fun like just give a shout out to fat mike M- fat mike and the mic 7 30 every tuesday podcast all our youtube friends check out um upcoming uh we're doing a review of uh punk and Truglick. That's right, Pumpkin Truck, I can't speak English, sorry Fat Rock, love and shout out to everybody there, but you know, I, you know how dumb I am, I forgot to give the Bad Cop, Bad Cop money to gamble in Vegas, oh my god, I, feel so, I owe you money, Bad Cop, Bad Cop, yeah, Vegas baby, hard rock, oh yeah, we love to gamble with Bad Cop, Bad Cop, yeah, hard rock baby, is it there anymore, Lit. I don't know, yeah. 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 Oh, so we're getting there. We're tuning up. We're getting it down. We'd like to give a shout out to number one oh, studio, yeah. San Francisco. That's right. Music City in the house, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Music City. And now, we're going to play, play some music. music. <laughs> Woo! We got first put on the mask. We got first put on the mask. We got the mask. Here we go. Mask toss. Come on up to the mic. Mask toss. Here we go, Scar Puppy. You want to throw one? Yeah, Let's go. Mask like. time. Come on. One, two, one, two three. three. Yeah. Oh, look at your mask on. <laughs> Did you get it? You got it. It's like a, a we put a piece of paper in a straw and spit it at you. Ah ha ha. All right. All right. Hotel room lottery ticket sticker toss. Yay! Sticker toss. Ooh, fancy. You guys are going to get everything today. today. Love you all. Am I here? Where am I? We are Lost Puppy Forever, coming to you live and direct from Feral's Cat Studios. Today's 199, so we decided to sing thank you and play our new song called Rescue Me.
Alligator? 